SpaceX Starhopper's first 20 meter flight summary. My name is Felix and I am your host for today's episode of What About It? Did you watch the live streams of Starhopper's flight test and did you not see much? Well then follow me and I'll hopefully show you what it was about. So without further ado, I present to you Starhopper's first real flight in detail. First of all, thanks go out to Tim Dodd for traveling to Texas again and for all the work he puts into this. I know what I'm talking about. It is a lot of hard work to get these pictures out to all of us. If you do not know him, go visit his channel after this episode. He deserves a like and a sub. Link will be in the description. Now to what happened as seen from the ground and from a cam facing the engine yesterday. At 10.44 p.m. and 40 seconds, a historic moment happened in Boca Chica, Texas, where SpaceX is building the Starhopper prototype. If you stumbled across this video without knowing what Starhopper is, it is a very rudimentary prototype of the planned super heavy launch vehicle Starship, built by SpaceX. It is for testing purposes. This means SpaceX wants to collect first data about the flight characteristics of this form of rocket design and about their brand new Raptor engine, a methane engine with a never before achieved design. It is a closed cycle engine. This means that no propellant is wasted while the motor is running, making it a very efficient way of propelling a rocket. Short before the launch, Starhopper started venting a lot of liquid oxygen and most, including me, already thought this would mean an abort. As you normally don't vent that much gas if you want to ignite the engine. But then it happened. SpaceX's Raptor engine ignited properly and had a good burn for roughly 20 seconds. What we can observe in the videos is that the hopper moved up and to the left and down again. You can even see it blow something into the air from the ground. So it pretty much did what SpaceX wanted it to do. A full hop to demonstrate flight readiness. So Elon Musk and his crew can be proud of the first ever Starhopper flight in human history. After the hop there was a small grass fire that spread out for a while but caused no damage at any time. One more thing we can add to this shortest What About It episode ever is that in the comparison of Lab Padre's webcast you can clearly see that the hopper did not hit the exact same spot for its landing. So it did not return to its exact takeoff spot. And then one more thing before I leave you. Elon already tweeted how it's going to continue from here on in Boca Chica. Next up is a 200 meter hop in about one or two weeks. So that should be much better for viewing from the ground because it will leave its plume going up from the ground. And my guess is that the Starship presentation in Boca Chica will be somewhere between today and the 200 meter hop test. So be excited for we will see the latest design changes SpaceX has come up with for Starship in the last year. So this wraps up today's episode of What About It? Will Starhopper do the 200 meter flight test within the next two weeks and will the Starship presentation be somewhere between now and then? As always, tell me in the comments. The end of the episode is always reserved for the best patrons in the world, my patrons. And even in the short time since yesterday's episode, there has been someone new. So everybody give a warm welcome to James Cutts. Welcome to the family. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for watching this episode of What About It? If you liked what you saw, don't forget to subscribe and like as this helps me the most. Feel free to hit me up on my Patreon page so I can get additional help in doing more and better content as this gives me the time to focus on what I love doing the most. To bring you the latest and greatest about space and science. I hope to see you on the next episode. Until then, have a great time. So be excited for we will see what kind of SpaceX, well, yeah. Will the Starhopper hop within the next 200 meters? <laughs> and will the Starship presentation be somewhere between now and never? Yeah, Mr. Starhopper.